Okay, folks, this one is really wild. It seems like Apple wants to include ChatGPT by default in the next generation of iPhones, but that's not all. So watch the whole video, folks, because we will also talk about a Siri revamp, a likely new AI assistant from Apple, and then some. So as part of a larger effort to add AI capabilities to its products, Apple is reportedly finalizing an agreement with OpenAI to put their technology on the iPhones. Now, if you remember recently, we talked about the possibility of Google's Gemini joining hands with Apple. But while there have been no updates on that yet, I did hear some birds talking that the contract with OpenAI is almost ready to allow for the use of ChatGPT's features on iOS 18. Personally, I think all of this could be really interesting. I mean, having ChatGPT by default in the Apple ecosystem with likely exclusive features could be a smart move for Apple. But what do you guys think? And what do you think could be the disadvantages of this? You know, folks, I believe this is yet another sign of Apple's deep commitment to AI. Interestingly, this is underscored by rumors of new AI-enhanced features, such as those potentially coming to Apple Music. Rumors say it might include auto-generated playlists and productivity apps like Pages and Keynote could see AI assistance in writing and creating slide decks. Adding to that, there are strong indications that Siri will be significantly upgraded with large language model technology, similar to ChatGPT and Google's Gemini. I think this could provide Siri with more contextual understanding and improved response capabilities. But not just that. Other recent reports state that Apple is significantly enhancing its AI capabilities, as I said before, but particularly with regard to Siri. You see, folks, it seems like there's a strong focus on integrating generative AI features into iOS, possibly starting with iOS 18. I think this involves creating an upgraded version of Siri that is more intelligent and can handle complex interactions more effectively, also handling multiple tasks simultaneously. Then, with generative AI, Siri could revolutionize how users search the web by providing more relevant answers and even crafting responses based on the content found. I guess this could make typing in a search bar less necessary, potentially positioning Apple as a leader in AI-driven search, according to reports. But, I mean, do you think Siri's new AI features could really make traditional web searches obsolete? Or will there always be a need for manual searching? Anyway, folks, Apple is also exploring generative AI for internal customer service applications with Apple Care. I guess this might suggest a future where support could be partially or fully automated to provide quicker and possibly more accurate assistance. You know, with the help of generative AI, Apple expects that instead of only answering questions one at a time, Siri will become more adept at the jobs it already performs and learn new skills like text message summarization and conversation. So I guess Siri won't just be useful for setting up your alarms. Adding to that, generative AI processing will take place on device, which is a significant change from chatbot like ChatGPT, which can be accessed on the web, iPhone and Android. But you know, it's not always sunshine and roses. Right now, Apple's got a couple of big worries. First one, executives at Apple are concerned that emerging AI technology could replace the iOS software on the iPhone and endanger the company's dominance in the global smartphone market. You see, folks, this new technology has the potential to undermine Apple's App Store, which brings in around $24 billion a year by spawning an ecosystem of AI apps or agents that can schedule meetings or even order Ubers. Then, Apple is also concerned that the iPhone may become a dumb brick in the eyes of other technology if it's unable to create its own artificial intelligence system. Although it's unknown how many people use Siri on a daily basis, the iPhone currently accounts for over $200 billion in sales and makes up 85% of all smartphone revenues worldwide. Now, before speaking about the juicy details about Apple's rumored new AI assistant, Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that like button if you find the video insightful and enjoyable. It really, really helps the channel and you won't miss out on the latest AI news. So basically, Apple plans to make real-time transcripts and summarization of audio available system-wide on a number of its devices later this year. 
Now, Apple has been developing significant improved audio transcription and summarization using AI for a number of its next generation operating systems. It is anticipated that the new features will allow users of its popular voice memos, notes, and other apps to significantly increase their efficiency. I read that the transcription takes up the whole center section of the application window, taking the place of the previous edition of the app's larger graphical depiction of recorded audio. Additionally, transcription will be included in Notes upcoming release. Those acquainted with the program claim that pre-release versions of both apps have a specific transcription button in the shape of a voice bubble. Basically, if you tap the new speech bubble, the audio that was recorded within the app will be transcribed. Then, the transcription tool will work in tandem with Future Notes audio recording features, which Apple Insider originally reported on in April. In particular, the update will include an option for AI-generated audio summarization, which will instantly produce a simple text summary of the main points of interest and next steps. It's also anticipated that Apple's integrated Notes app will become a true powerhouse with the addition of the AI summary tool, more in-app audio recording capabilities, and real-time transcription possibilities. I guess that with the three capabilities together, processing massive volumes of data down to important focal areas won't be as taxing for a wide range of real-world applications. Possibly, for users, all this translates to ease of use and instant clarity. You know, it will help students just record lectures and classes and also include other media like images, data structures like tables, and links in your notes. Then, professionals that frequently participate in virtual meetings, conference calls, or seminars as part of their job will find great benefits from these capabilities as well. These kinds of events frequently reveal copious amounts of data, a range of statistics, intricate business plans, dates and schedules, all of which Apple's AI technology will examine and restructure into appropriately formatted summary briefs. Now, the transcription and summarization capabilities are a part of Apple's larger AI initiative for this year. Similar summarizing features are also anticipated to arrive in Safari 18 through intelligent browsing and in the built-in Messages app. You see, the basic goal and use case of Messages and Safari's AI capabilities are quite different. Notes will enable users to transcribe conference calls, meetings, and lectures. On the other hand, Safari will enable users to summarize web pages, and Messages will provide a streamlined version of message content. Given that some AI functions are anticipated to operate exclusively on device, Apple's AI software may also help to safeguard customers' privacy. However, I guess that server-side processing might be necessary for the time being in the case of powerful AI summarization and audio transcription. The company also hopes to strengthen its position against the increasing number of competitive third-party programs that are now using AI technology. Many of these applications have enjoyed high adoption rates as users integrate them into their everyday lives online. For example, one other program that has won Apple's Editor's Choice Award is Outer. It provides functionality that is comparable to the capabilities covered in this article. With it, users may utilize generative AI to record, transcribe, and summarize meetings all within one app. Another potential competitor of Apple's Notes and Voice Memos apps is Microsoft's OneNote, which also supports audio recording in the form of voice notes. Anyway, I think it's important to note, though, that not every software feature that Apple tests in software builds prior to release finds its way into the current release cycle. There are ultimately no assurances on timing and availability since Apple has a history of abruptly cancelling projects or delaying features to later operating system updates and apps. Despite this, it seems that Apple's upcoming next-generation OS systems and the new Siri, AI summarization, and real-time transcription features will be unveiled during the company's Worldwide Developers Conference in June. Additionally, better calendar and calculator apps are anticipated to join them, among other things. With that being said, let me know in the comments what you think about the potential union between Apple and OpenAI, the Siri updates, and Apple's new AI assistant. Additionally, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Your support is always appreciated and you won't miss any upcoming AI news. Share the video for extra help and, as always, 
See you in the next one, folks. You all take care.